Getting back to some sense of normalcy for the first time in a year, schools across the state will be open for in-person learning. Today, thousands of students will step into the classrooms they haven't seen in a year. Carla Averette joining us from Avondale. Carla, obviously this is a huge deal, so how are staff and students and parents feeling about this? Yeah, oh, very much so. You're definitely correct. We're out in Avondale Elementary School District, so they represent, uh, they have kiddos anywhere from the preschool age all the way up to eighth grade. Superintendent Hargrove is with me this morning. Thank you so much for coming out here so early, but lots of excitement. What advice do you have for these kids that are going to be finally back in the classroom at brick and mortar school? Well, thank you so much for being here to help us welcome back our students for the end of the school year. Um, I think our advice would be that let's look at this as a, a natural restart. So like the first day of school, the uh, January 1, uh, <laughs> this is an opportunity to reflect, an opportunity to celebrate all of the amazing things that have happened thus far this year, mm -hmm. and an opportunity to set goals over the next two months. You know, when kids are online, uh, there's definitely a chance for them to learn things that hadn't, you know, maybe maybe had not been learned had they not been online. What would you say are those things that kids have, are going to be bringing into the classroom that they learn through online schooling? So uh, what I would say is I, I think our kids for um, the absolute best benefit have been that they own their learning more than they've ever had to. Okay. Right? right. And, and so now it's they have to get up, they have to show up, they have to stay up on all of these things that are happening and they're doing it in some sense a little bit more independently, far more independently than Absolutely. they used to. And so now they're really owners of their learning and so when they're growing um, as a thinker, problem solver, and communicator, they're the ones who are grabbing a hold of it and making sure that it's happening. Talk about creating problem solvers, right? Having to log on to a Zoom call and mitigate all of what happens when you're online. For parents, uh, what are you? what is your advice for them as, you know, they let their kiddos come back to school and now they, you know, they've been home this whole, almost this entire school year for Avondale. So uh, another uh, collateral benefit, I think, of this pandemic, and, and while certainly we've had, we've had loss and we've had challenges, a collateral benefit has been we have a stronger relationship with our families than we've ever had in the past. We're in their living room, where they're <laughs> in their kitchen. And so that engagement um, with our parents has, has just grown um, unbelievably this okay. year. And so what I would say is let's not lose that. Let's okay. stay connected and let's stay part of this journey because we want our kids to know their home family are with them and supporting them. Their yeah. AESD family is here to support them. Wow, what a wonderful message. Uh, tell us one more time, how many kids are you expecting to come back into the classroom today throughout the Avondale Elementary School District? So it varies by site and okay. so by site and really by grade level. Okay. And so we have anywhere between 70 and 90% of our kids depending on the site and the grade level. And okay. we are incredibly excited to have them back. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Hargrove. We really appreciate it. We wish you and the rest of the teachers and staff and you know the kids and the parents a wonderful last quarter of the year as they come back to Avondale Elementary School District. That's all I have for you for now from Avondale. I'm Carla Navarrete. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Carla, definitely obviously a, a huge deal. A lot of emotions there. Some excitement as well going into all of this. Carla, thank you for keeping us posted on that. Hey,